Mas napakaraming dapat ayusin. Amen. O baka mag-send ka naman ng thumbs up. <laughs> amen, Pastor. <laughs> Say the word, Amen. I don't like the thumbs up. Heart. Heart. Daming dapat ayusin sa inyo. There's so many things that needs to be fixed. Because the world has unfixed so many things in your life. It's destroyed so many things in your life. Buti na lang, dito sa church natin, nandidiscuss natin yung coffee Facebook na yan, medyo nabawasan na. Amen. Amen? Medyo nahiya na. Pakapakita ni Pastor. Well, pag hindi natin tinuro yan, anong buhay natin? Sige nga, sige nga, anong buhay natin? Lahat tayo naka-face, pati si Pastor, naka-face talaga namang, lagi sa Facebook. At waki! Kaya imagine si Pastor na waki. Yung iba sa inyo, hindi na dapat mag-waki. Other people, some of you, you don't need to go. Go on, waki, waki na face you. No, you're all good. So, we need to trim down and trim whatever needs to be removed in our lives, in our character, in our habits to, be, to you know, come back to a normal mode. Normal mode. Amen. There's so many hundreds of hours wasted on Facebook. Ngayon, everybody's lazy. Dahil niya sa kape Facebook na yan. Yeah, everybody becomes lazy. They're spending one hour, two hours. Can you imagine spending three hours cleaning your room every day? Aba, hindi na paaganda ng kwarto mo. It's very organized. Amen? Amen. Relationship na yan, wala na. Wala na relationship na Why? Ang bata, nakababad. Amen. Nakababad sa technology. No, no. All kids now are lazy. Papa, during our time, wala pong ganyan. After school, we work. We work, we work, we work hard. We are people, hard-working people. Huh? We are productive people. Now, the kids... Very lazy. And not only the kids, praise God. <laughs> the adults. Buti na lang, dito sa church natin, medyo may pit tayo sa community service. We we are encouraging everyone to enjoy, to, to join the community service para mabalik, ma-restore ang inyong normal life na tayo ay normal sa tao. It's normal for a human being to be working, to be cleaning, to be moving, to be socializing. It's normal. Hindi nakakulong ka sa kwarto, you're inside your room, alone, with your iPhone, with your phone, and you're on the internet, the whole day. Yeah. That's not normal. Wala nang socialist. Nobody talks with each other anymore. You ride the elevator, everybody's holding. Ayan, every night, King Faisal. Come to the elevator, everybody. One, two, three, four, five. Lahat po yan. Oh, ayan, wala na nag good morning ngayon. There are only few people, like chief people, who are doing this. Yes, amen. Do not be influenced by the world, guys. Live a normal life. Yung nakapapad sa iPhone, you're always on the iPhone, it's not normal. It's not normal. Hmm? Kaya nga hanggang sa bahay, nasusundan ka ng boss mo dahil dyan. You don't like it. Yan, sa bahay ka na, may notos pa boss mo. Tapon mo nga yung iPhone na yan. Nasusundan ka ngayon. 
Mas kailan ba ang bakasyon ka, even when you're on vacation? They will contact you and ask something from you. Ba't nagbakasyon ka pa? The world has gone too far away from what is normal. During our days, when we take our vacation, we forget our job, we forget our boss, we forget our office mates, forget, sarado, cell phone, sarado yan. Ha? Ngayon, wherever you are, eh dapat when you go on vacation, huwag niyo sasagot yung mga boss niyo. Bakas yung kay. I charge mo overtime. So, yung boss, before I answer you, ano, overtime na to. Eh kasi, I'm, uh, this is my uh, free time, this is my own time. Right? So God says, even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for He is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, abounding in love, and He relents from sending calamity. So, when you are away from God, God will send calamity in your life. Amen. Into their lives, the lives of the unbelievers. God will send trouble, calamities, to call their attention. Is it written in the Bible? Yes, it's written in the Bible. I send you calamities and all those things. He still you didn't come back to me. Sabi po ng Lord sa book of Jeremiah. So sometimes God, kinakalabi tayo ng Panginoon. God is trying to call us back. Otherwise, He will send calamity in your life to call your attention. He will not answer your prayers. Huh? But if you're always in the presence of God, you'll, buy, you'll be like a tree planted by the streams of water, which bear its fruit in season, whose leaves as a wither. Whatever you do, you will prosper. God always respond accordingly. You want God to respond into your life accordingly, properly? You act properly before God. He'll respond with goodness and blessings, prosperity in your life. Whatever you do, God will respond. Hmm? Ito po yan. Don't forget the Lord. Don't forget the Lord and continue to have this nice relationship with God. Nice relationship with God. Last week is our fasting week, right? We declared it during the, uh, the night service, yeah? So, I'm sorry guys, uh, you know, I wasn't uh, able to declare it to you. Anyway, praise God. We uh, had a fasting week last week and the blessing of the Lord poured in. Napakarami pong blessing. Amen. Ang Panginoon. Come on, give Him praise. God has blessed us so much. Praise God. I think it's really very effective. Sabi ng Lord, rend your heart. Fast and pray and cry, and I will come back to you, and I will restore you, and I will bless you. God wants to bless us. Sino po hindi lang pag fasting us? Now this week is your fasting week. Amen. You eat light breakfast, no lunch, okay? During lunch time, you pray. You pray for the church, you pray for our project, you pray for President Duterte, you pray for our country, you pray for your pastor, and then you pray for yourself, for all your needs. That's the things you need to pray. And you do that for one week. Hindi pa tapos ang week, ang blessing niya bumubuhos na. Amen. Is that true? Amen. This is true. At the middle of the week, praise God, ang dami na kagad na testimony ng blessing ng Lord. Ito po yan. This week was so blessed, blessed week for me. Very blessed week for me and my family. So many grace, favor, blessing. Big and small. Dating sa buhay natin. So those who were not able to fast last week, this week will be your fasting week. You start tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, praise God. No lunch kayo. Ang break ng fast kayo is 6. And then you eat at 6. And then from uh, Sunday to Thursday, 
no lunch po kayo. During lunch time, you pray. Okay, you're devoting this time to prayer and fasting. And you will see before the Thursday comes, there will be so many blessings in your life. Amen. So many answered prayers in your life. Amen. Sino po yung mga nakareceive ng mga blessings during fasting? Ang oh, dami. Dami. So, super. Super po. Ang dami po yan. Ma mamaya, mamaya ang night service, mas marami pa. Kaya nga, fasting and prayer is a normal activity ng Christian. And then you will experience really more blessing. Sa so January, we affect the first week, we will fast again. First week of January, we'll have no lunch, breakfast. Ayaw ko kayong biglain eh. So mag breakfast kayo ng light breakfast. And then we have no lunch, we'll pray again. January, first week of January. Sa ibang church, one, one month yan. Pero sa inyo, one week lang. Okay na sa inyo. Kasi baka mamaya eh. Hindi <laughs> makaya. Iyakan kayo. Tagal naman, tagal naman. Hindi ka pa nga nag-start. Tagal naman. Hindi <laughs> pa nag-start. Tagal naman. Kaya inuunti-unti ko kayo. One week lang muna. First week ng January. One week fasting ulit tayo. Para the whole year. Praise God. Bubuhos ang blessing 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Your prayer answers, your children, your parents, your husbands, salary increases, breakthrough, new jobs, bonuses, praise God, will come into your life. Amen. Ang dami-dami po niya, talagang mamumulakla kayo. Amen. Sobrang dami ng blessing. Kaya first week of January, we'll proclaim a fast for the whole church. And you will see, the blessing will pour out in your life. Amen. Yan ang gusto ng Lord na i-bless niya tayo. God wants to bless His people, to restore His people, to restore the relationship between you and Him, you and Him, you and Him. Huwag po kayong manghihina, huwag kayong malalamig, praise God. It's for your disadvantage pag kayo po eh, when you are, you know, not consistent, it's to your disadvantage. Be consistent in loving God and praising God. Serving Him, be consistent. You will see, praise God. God will pour out His mighty blessings. Verse 25. Now let's go to verse 23, sorry. 23 and 24. Be glad, O people of Zion. Meaning to say, be glad, O Christians. Rejoice in the Lord. People of Zion means Christian. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for He has given you the autumn rains in righteousness. He sends you abundant showers, both autumn and spring rains, as before. Meaning to say, the blessings from heaven will come down. Amen. After you fast and pray and repent. Amen? Amen. God will open the floodgates of heaven. Verse 24. I will repay you the years the locusts have eaten, the great locusts, the young locusts, the other locusts, and the locusts war, my great army that I sent among you. So God will restore everything in your life. Amen. Financial blessings that were eaten by the devil, that were stolen by the devil. The years that you become unproductive, vacant, wala kayong productivity, i restore ng Lord yan. Physical restoration, relationship restoration, emotional restoration, mental restoration. God will restore us in every area of our lives. I will repay you for the years, the locusts have eaten, meaning to say for the years that were stolen by the devil. Diba? Before you were Christian, Satan has stolen so much money from you. Amen. Cigarette, alcohol, iba drugs. Time wasted, time, so much time, laziness, and then relationship between parents and children, sibling to sibling, so many things that were stolen by the devil. You've spent so much on hospitals and medicines and sickness. Marami, marami, marami nanakawan jablo sa atin. And God will restore all those years and all those monies that were Amen. stolen by the devil. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If we fast and we pray and continue to serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. 
The great logos meaning the big demons, the small demons, and the other demons, and plenty of demons that I sent in your life, meaning to say God allowed the devil into the lives of the unbelievers when we were still unbelievers. Ay, yan ang job talaga. Hindi sa saway ng Lord John. God will allow the devil to harm you so that magising ka. Tumawag ka sa Diyos, di ba? Most of us, we will call God when we are in deep trouble only. When we have no trouble, you don't call on God. But when you are in deep trouble, Oh God, oh God, oh God, eh, pangit mo. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> hey, ba, this, this is right? You call on God when you are in deep trouble. Pero, nung nasa party ka, are you calling Jesus? Hello? Amen. Nung nasa party ka, when you are in the party, are you calling Jesus and the Father, the Holy Spirit? Who are you calling? The devil. 